Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by thevirtualinstructor.com. This is part two of a two-part series where I'm showing you how to use the blob brush tool in Adobe Illustrator CS4 as well as the live paint tool and we're going to use the blob brush tool again to make our color a little bit more interesting by adding some value. So uh, where we left off in the last video is we added some ink to a drawing that we did in Photoshop uh, and let me just bring up that file right now. Here it is and uh, we used the blob brush tool to create the ink, we used the eraser to clean up the ink lines, and now we're ready to add some color with the live paint tool. Now, uh, what we're doing here, it's important to do the next step, and the next step is actually to duplicate the ink layer that we created. Because we're gonna be using the brush tool, the blob brush tool later, it's important that we're able to draw underneath the lines, and we wanna preserve these ink lines. So I'm going to go ahead and click on layer 2, pull it down here next to the trash can. Don't throw it in the trash can, but the symbol right next to it, and it duplicates that layer. So now we've got layer 2, layer 2 copy. You can name those if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and lock layer 2 copy, and then I'm going to go back to layer 2, and I'm going to select all. Now what it will do is select all the paths on the layer 2, just like that. That's very important for our live paint tool to work. If you try to use the live paint tool without selecting um, the paths that you want the paint tool to work in, um, it gives you this little error message with these crazy fish on it, um, and uh, it's kind of hard to understand. Just go ahead and select paths right off from the start. Okay, um, so where is our live paint tool? Where it's this thing right here that looks like a paint bucket with a little square inside of it. And I've already got yellow selected for the hair, so I'm gonna go ahead and color in the hair. So I just click in that area and all of a sudden that becomes yellow. And I'm going to go ahead and color the eyebrows and the hair. Just like that very quickly we've already colored those areas. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the skin tone. So I'm going to use the color picker and select the skin tone. Now let's see, that's none of, none of that looks good. Let's, let's make a one that's a little more pinkish. Uh, there we go. Now if you want to change it, you can just double click on it and pick something that's a little bit lighter. And then I'll go right back in here and I'll add the skin tones just like that. I'm going to go ahead and add the color for the eye or the glasses and we'll make that red. That looks good. And the glasses are red. I'm going to go ahead and color the middle part of the glasses black just like that. And I'm going to add some color to the shirt. Now I'm going to use uh, one of these decorative patterns for this. And these are the little fish, making them look a little tropical like a surfer. Now to see what we've got, we can go up to select, deselect, and it shows us basically what our image looks like right now. Now we colored that very quickly, and it looks pretty good. Now to make it look a little bit better than that even, now we're going to use the blob brush tool and we're going to make um, some of these values stand out a little bit more. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer, layer 2 that we created. And this layer 4 right here, we want to make sure it's underneath the layer 2 copy and above the layer 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and select that skin tone color again. So I'll go ahead and grab the medicine dropper and select that color. Now I want a darker value of that color. So I'm going to go ahead and select maybe a little bit of a darker value. This is the color that we had. This is the color we have now. And uh, for this, I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit. And we'll grab our brush tool again. And I can go ahead and just color a little bit freely. That's okay if it goes outside the lines a little bit. And you'll see why in just a minute. And I can go ahead and be a little loose with this. Just like that. Add some of the value around there. Maybe underneath the nose. There we go. Underneath the hair, maybe. You get the idea, okay? So now that's obviously very messy. So in order to clean it up, all I have to do is turn my tablet pen upside down, and I can go ahead and erase the messiness away and give it more of a cleaner look, just like we did with our ink lines before. Now this will save you loads of time. Instead of using that uh, pen tool, where you have to go in and and go around each one of the curves and and really take your time. This will save you lots of time if you do it this way with the blob brush tool and the eraser. 
And it's uh, a lot more intuitive too. It's more like drawing a normal picture and inking more in a traditional way, inking and adding color in a little bit more of a traditional way. Now, once you go back and do all this to your drawing and make it more dynamic um, with all the areas, um, you might end up with something that looks a little bit like our original drawing. So I'm not going to uh, spend too much time um, showing you how to do all the hair and all that. I think you can figure that out by what I've just showed you. So blob brush tools, excellent tool to save you some time. An illustrator, um, use it to do your inking. Use the live paint tool to add color quickly. And then lastly, add the brush tool to make your images a little bit more dynamic with some value in the color. This has been another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com.